Hey ladies, welcome back to the channel. Today, I thought I'd give you guys a little glimpse into my weekday morning routine. From when I wake up to me actually starting my daily task. So let's get started. Of course, I'm going to start my day with waking up and brushing my teeth. Now, I do try to wake up about 20 minutes before the boys get up to either have an energy drink or to drink some coffee and just kind of get myself powered up to get my day started. There's Loki. He stalks me the entire morning. He follows me around like a little dog. <laughs> so of course I have to feed him and give him some loving. To get a head start and kind of set myself up for success, I have been putting a load of laundry in the washer the night before. When I wake up in the morning, all I have to do is turn it on and hit start. Of course, I always forget that the alarm is on, so I'm rushing to go turn it off. Today, my husband actually was off, so he was upstairs asleep. Um, he doesn't he doesn't hear anything. And then we do sleep with a rain app on Alexa, so it plays constant like thunderstorms. And it's just very relaxing. It helps you fall asleep and stay asleep. I'll actually have the name of that. Um, if I can find the link, I will. If not, then I will just put the name um, of it in the description box. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get the boys breakfast together. We do quick and easy breakfast meals, bars, anything that I can pop in the microwave because they really aren't that hungry. So I don't wanna give them anything that they're going to waste. So we're just doing the pancake and sausage on a stick. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get their vitamins ready, get their plates on the table and go wake them up. Now we are trying to teach them how to use their Alexa alarm clock. So this morning they actually woke up when they went off. You have a good sleep? Yes. Okay. Go brush your teeth and then breakfast is on the table. When you're done using the bathroom and brushing your teeth, come downstairs to eat, okay? okay. All right. Kai. Is silly. <laughs> Folks, your breakfast is on the table. Now it's time for me to get dressed. I do go on walk runs at our local trail, so I'm just getting prepared for that. It was a little rainy. It's been really rainy, so just making sure I have stuff to keep me warm and of course dressing in layers. Normally I do get dressed in my room, but like I said, my husband is in there asleep, so I'm trying to be as quiet as I can. And I'm just putting together the boys' lunches. I threw some popcorn chicken in the air fryer going to heat up a little bit of white rice and then I'm packing them some fruit. Do you want sauce and seasoning on your uh, fruit? And I do wake them up at a decent enough time for them to be able to get dressed and go ahead and lay back down and watch PBS Kids just so that we're not immediately waking up and having to run out the house. I have found that giving them that little bit between 15 and 20 minutes of relaxed time kind of helps us to not have angry little boys when we're leaving for school in the morning. Cool. 
Cam had a little comprehensive test on one of his reading books today, so we just quickly ran over it again just to make sure that he was confident and prepared for that. And my baby did good. He scored a 100%. All right, you got you got some time before um we have to leave. So now the boys are completely done getting dressed. Their shoes are by their doors and ready to go for when I tell them that it's time to leave. And during this time, I just use it to finish packing up their lunches, their backpacks, and then I actually head outside to start warming the car up since it's still cold. It's time to head to the door. Boys, it's time to go. TV's off, grab your shoes. Okay, go tell daddy bye. Go ahead, go tell daddy bye, hurry up. And we always seem to have interesting conversations on our ride to school, so. <laughs> but it says 60 right here on the car, look. Did she say the high was 71? No. I think she might have said the high was 71. When I pick you up, you better have your jackets on. Okay? Okay. All right. Go ahead. Have a good day. Can I have a kiss? Thank you. Love you. Thank you. Go ahead. Okay. Thank you. Go ahead. Love you. Bye. Bye. I love you. So I get them dropped off at school and I immediately head to the trail. I do also work out in my garage, but currently I'm just switching up my workout routine. So for now I'm doing walks and runs outside and I love being outside in nature. I have made a few friends. <laughs> Let me also say, for safety reasons, as a woman, please be careful and watch your surroundings. I always text my husband when I make it to the trail so that he knows I made it there safely. I carry what I need to carry to protect myself, read between the lines. Um, and then I also text my husband when I am leaving the trail so that there's always someone who knows where I am. Please make sure that you are aware of your surroundings, you're paying attention. It does not matter how nice someone looks or how nice you feel your community is. Be careful and stay prepared and please, please be safe. do a combination of walking and running so while the artist is rapping or singing I will do a fast walk and then when the chorus starts I go ahead and start jogging nothing too strenuous because there are hills on the trail so just a light jog during the chorus
I don't walk the entire trail. It is super long. So the portion that I do, I do that twice and that ends up being about four and a half miles, I want to say. So these are my stats from my walk. It was a nice walk run. I was super sweaty, tired. Of course, I need to go ahead and get some water. Like I said, I text my husband, let him know I was on my way home. Now I just need to get up these stairs without falling down because my legs. Then I'm just going to go ahead and get the shower started. And I can officially start my day. So I hope you guys enjoyed my weekday morning routine and I will catch you on the next video. Bye.